Okay, so what we'll do now is it's uh, we have five slides. It's basically a wrap up from uh, the previous days. Huh? So I allow one person uh, to explain uh, one slide and the next other slide. Okay, group number six. And uh, row two. Person who is yawning. Perfect. Good. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Six. <laughs> yeah. Next one. Perfect. <laughs> so you need to explain this uh, slide. You can see it, right? And other group can comment, eh? Uh, actually, I'm not very sure, but huh? let's see. Here we have the data element is the third ANC visit, and uh, the one who reported it is the reproductive health services. And uh, this data element belongs to ANC section. Um, the value, the value mean limited is thir 35 and the max limit is 58 and the average is 46 for this data element and the organ the one the facility that provide this data is Riverside uh, for the period is July 2012. Mm. Comment? The comment maybe belong to... Uh, the comment, it says this, the number is a lot smaller than usual due to closed road. And the common, I don't know what I mean. It, it might belong to the analyze or the reporter. But really? I'm not, I'm not really sure about this. Um, uh, it, it might belong to the analyzer, someone who seen the, <laughs> yes, someone who seen the value and it was stored by the nurse, Florence. And the day that it was stored is the 7th of August, 2012. And the validation role is uh, less than or equal with total ANC visits, that's all. Okay, so <coughs> thanks. <laughs> so uh, to just to explain a bit more, yeah, this is data entry module. Eh? When you do the data entry, you have min and max, you have an average, and this value was very less eh, compared to the range. And then the data entry person enter, no, this value is right because it's lower than other things because the road was closed. So that's why the value of ANC third visit was, was less. Eh? That's what like, uh, this is saying. And this is a validation rule, which is also linked to this particular va value. But the validation rules is not right because it's a total ANC visit. But this is ANC third visit. 
You can't compare total ANC visit and uh, ANC. Okay, you can if it is how many visit in this month happened total ANC, uh, out of which was first, second, and third. Then it's fine. Okay, so maybe that's the the validation rules here. When you enter the in DHIS, DHS will automatically show who entered it, the username, and when it was entered. So this is describing about data entry screen in DHIS. So we have taken out all the components out and showed you like this. Okay, so basically this is what happens in uh, DHS data entry. Okay, fine. Yeah, just to explain and wrap up like what we already had before. Huh? So I'll go very quick. It's the same thing. A data set can have a section. A section can have multiple uh, data element. Yeah, the same thing like last time where we showed. We explained this, uh, this slide. One data element can belong into multiple groups. Section is basically related to data set. Okay? Data element group can have it in multiple data set, it's fine. Data element and data element group has no linkage between data set. Eh? Data element can be linked to a data element group, but data element group can have data element from multiple data set, from multiple forms. And that's what we are showing, showing here. Eh? <coughs> this is the thing, see? For example, you have a data set it's called reproductive, and uh, reproductive Health Service. Section is ANC, and then you have data elements. These data elements are in a data element group called ANC visit. ANC visit is in a data element group set called maternal health. Okay? Group set is very different. Data set is very data set belongs to one particular org unit and that particular periodicity. But a data element group can include anything from different data sets or from different things is perfectly fine. All the categories belongs to one data element. Eh? Category combination, one data element can have only one category combination, not two. Okay? And this is what it is. It's fine. Just to get uh, what we have already told from uh, previous sections. It's okay? Clear? We can have assignments now. Yes on this? Uh, Chung? Okay, John, uh, can you back to slide one? First uh, slide. And for first uh, slide, I would like to say about the uh, storage by, storage by. Yeah. <coughs> now, I am in this department. I enter this value, but uh, the next time, uh, I am is not exist in the system. And how, 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 how to the problem for this one? Sorry? Uh, now you are in this department and then later you left the job. Yeah. And then like what happens is stored and by is just a user. Yeah. And in the next time, the how, how to about uh, this variable? We, we don't know because I ha have been deleted. No, 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 no. We don't really delete a user. We make it inactive. Uh, status. Yes, user. so then he can't do uh, any okay. data entry. We can just like remove from the org unit, but M not. But not normally, when we use, we can we, we can delete uh, the user. We can yes, we it. can also delete. It. That's what I'm saying. In DHIS, which gives you all the control to you. If you delete a user, then then the name will be there, but like not the you, ca you, you can't find who who it is and all thing. But like it's stored as a text. It's uh, not stored as a user ID. It's just stored as a text, like this guy, this username was stored. That, that is when we delete a user, but the DHS2 will active, uh, will make the status for user only? If you, if you delete a user, yeah. it's fine. Because in data entry, we yeah. don't store user ID, we store the, the name, who yeah. is stored. And uh, it's a text field. Okay, okay. Mm. Which is unique. So, like, we just store that one. And if you delete the user, yeah. it's fine because, like, we can still say okay, this user entered it. Yeah. But, like, we don't find that user in the system. 
Then is you have to ask who is this user? Uh, we have to remove him because he has left the job. Uh, but like okay. the it will store there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does this concept apply also to organization that has closed down? Uh, no. Uh, actually, like in organization, we, we should not delete it. We should always make, say, inactive. It's not registering. Because in DHIS, the, in data value table, we store as ID, the, not as the, um, the text. Because like we don't usually uh, aggregate by user but we aggregate by Orgunet. Orgunet, you should not delete it. If you are connecting any data, I guess like even DHIS won't allow you to delete if there is any data value. Yeah, so what does DHIS does? You can make it as inactive. That means you can't register any more data. So like for example, this hospital is closed now. So you, when you go to Orgunet module and say edit, when you start add new, you have only one thing called opening date. But when you edit a org unit, you will find two, opening date and closing date. And you can just say closing date. And then you also, I talked to you about like registered active, yes or no. So if you say no, that means like now the facility is it's dead. They are not active. Okay? Fine? Any more questions? Okay. Simultaneously, photo finish. Okay, like we, we don't really have, um, the question was, does system capture audit trail? Audit trail is something like, for example, now this user changed the value. Okay, next user come and change the value. And some other month, like someone changed the value. Do we keep who changed and wh what were the values? We don't have audit trail implemented in the, in the in this system yet. But you can add it. I know Jason Pickering has added in, uh, I guess, Zambia, the audit trail. It's very easy to include audit trail. It's no problem. We can do that, or we can include that trail. We have future plans to add it to the system. Currently? We don't have it. Yeah. It's coming. It's not yet there. OK? Yeah. Uh, this. No, no, just. just when it's green, that means, yeah. Uh, this pertaining to the org unit, suppose see, the reverse side becomes C side next time, change the name I mean, by five years. So still we can retain the I mean, reverse yes. side. So may I, I mean, uh, we can have a reference back. That org, org unit was previously named as reverse side, but yeah. it has been changed to C side. So yes, actually, like you know, like you, like usually most of times the names has been changed to these things, to that thing. You can change the org unit name, it's fine. No problem. Like the data will be still be there. So reverse side to C side, it's fine. And then you can also add from 2008 to 2009, it was called reverse side, and now it's called C side. It's okay. It's perfectly fine. Nothing will happen to the data. Because when we store, we don't store it as a text. We store it as an ID. So you can change whatever the name you want to change. But like the, it's still the value is linked to that particular uh, ID. So it's okay. Now you can include uh, those things in your, the point was like is to, we have something called attributes. We'll talk about that one a bit later where you can have old name, new name. You can also add it in the comments or description. So there are multiple ways where you can add these uh, things. It's okay. Like usually in the facility profile, you always have what was old name called, new name called. Then uh, sometimes you also have uh, what is this called in uh, local language. Uh, different, different name, so it's, it's, it's fine. Okay? So, okay, any question? Chancellor, you had a question? This one? Hello. Yeah, number three, uh, here you're talking about the category. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we have learned about category, category option. Yeah. What, ab uh, con what about concept? Concept including uh, age and HSVA stat status? Uh, uh, like actually the, the concept, like we don't have to worry about that one. It's the same thing but the, but, but the, but the category. Uh, we have something called concept but like it's uh, too much. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry about this one. There's okay. nothing but the same thing, category. 
โอเคเอ่อว่าเอ่อเอสเอเอ็ดอาโดมาเอสเอเอ็ดอาเทนเนอร์จีมาเอสบีลองทูเอ่อคาตตากอรีออปชั่นไรท์นาวดิสอาค